In this tutorial we'll focus on another kind of uh, mutation called frame shift mutations. Again a rather simple idea and this simply involves either the insertion of a base into a sequence where it wasn't before or the deletion of a base in a sequence. Um, the consequences of this are often uh, quite disastrous. If we were to look at this diagram here we can see it's uh, very similar or in fact almost the same as the one in the previous tutorial on base mutations. It uses the same example um, amino acid sequence and DNA sequence. So here's the normal DNA sequence. Um, here's uh, what we talked about in the previous uh, tutorial of a missense mutation where a, a single base substitution leads to a different amino acid but um, and therefore has consequences on the amino acid chain produced and therefore the protein. And we've got the nonsense mutation that we looked at there where again a particular single base substitution leads to a stop codon appearing straight after the start codon so it makes complete nonsense of the transcription process and no protein is produced at all. The fourth kind um, or the third kind shown here is the frame shift mutation and in this particular case you can see in the normal sequence shown here there are three A um, bases in a row, A, A, A. In, a, in this particular example of a frame shift mutation, one of those bases is deleted, maybe spontaneously or it could be induced by a mutagenic agent. Either way, one of those three bases is deleted from the sequence. What's the consequence of that? Well, it shifts everything um, in the sequence the wrong way. So, whereas AAA shown here formed a codon, which led to phenylalanine in the sequence. AA, um, AAA no longer exists in a frame shift uh, in this frame shift mutation. It's now become AAC. So the C shown here in the normal uh, sequence is actually shifted to the left. So everything where uh, to the right of where the A was removed, this A was removed. Everything to the left is shifted to the left. So the whole frame of all the uh, basic bases in the sequence gets shifted to the left. So the codon becomes AAC instead of AAA. And this leads to leucine being put into the sequence rather than phenylalanine, which is what's meant to be there. And of course the flow-on occurs all the way down the line. So instead of the next one being CCG, it becomes CGA, and so on. And you end up with alanine uh, next in the line. So again you end up with a protein or in fact a non-functional protein because the amino acid sequence simply won't be correct. It would be sheer luck and very very rare that you'd end up with a new amino acid sequence that would happen to work. And it could, it could work. It might by sheer luck produce a protein that's functional but the chances are that it's likely to be harmful. Now that's a deletion mutation but the same thing occurs with an insertion or addition mutation. So if you were to add a, um, a base into the sequence, um, which or inserted into the sequence, exactly the same thing would happen, and this would push all of the bases to the right. But the same consequence. Um, it means that the codons are all mucked up, and therefore you end up with a whole set of different amino acids in the sequence, and this will lead to a non-functional protein. So deletion or insertion or addition means the same thing. Mutations lead to a frame shift, that is a framing of the uh, codons either move to the left or to the right and this alters um, the amino acids that end up in the sequence.